In this video, I'm going to show you how to weigh out very large amounts of sediment. I'm going to use an 8x5 tin capsule. I'll put it on the balance and tear it. And I'm going to use our soil standard, which has about 2% carbon, so it's fairly low density. So higher density materials should pack in easier. But in this case, I'm going to try to get a minimum of 75 milligrams into the capsule. So I'll spread out the capsule a little bit in the tray. And then I'm going to use a spatula that has a round end that makes it easier to pack it into the capsule. So I know I'm going to need a lot, so I'm just going to load this up for a bit. The trick to loading large amounts is to gently tamp it down and compress the mineral material into the capsule. I'll do this as I go. getting a little bit of soil on the tray. Um, if I was doing this for a real sample, I'd be a little bit more careful, but as long as you're careful not to contaminate other samples or the outside of the capsule, you should be all right. Okay, I'm going to weigh it now, see how much we have. I'm up to 89 milligrams, okay. So I'm gonna seal this up. And you need to seal it very carefully so that you don't puncture the tin capsule. I'm going to push the material in from the side so it doesn't spill out. And then what I want is a sealed capsule where none of the material spills out of it, obviously. So the first step is to crimp the top. Do this very carefully. I'm going to use these tweezers that have a long thin profile. I'm going to squeeze it really tightly at the top and just fold it over and then fold that over and just carefully get it so that the top is correct. Now the trick to these large pea-sized capsules is not to, not to get in there and crimp it or squeeze it with tweezers because then you're just going to blow out all of the material. What you get are clean gloves and then you carefully ball it up. You close it and then you just roll it gently in your fingers. And then what I usually do is Tap it against the tray to see if any material falls out. Quite often it does because it's hard to seal these. So what you can do, if you did have material coming out, is you can put it into another capsule. It's better if you don't have to do this, but if you do, just gently place it in. Make a note on the sample ID form that you're using two capsules on this one. You just push it down slightly and then you pull that up. And there you go.